the bucket on? The bucket has a hole in the side. Yeah, just it's below got a little hole to put the, the rim. And you hang it up here. And these are specially made for, for syruping. They're not useful for anything else. Right. You buy them at a, at a farm store. And come over here and look. You can see there's a little bit of liquid coming out of the tap. And you can also see there's liquid in the tap. Oh, wow. Oh, no, because we don't know what this crazy man is going to do with this one. Exactly. The liquids from the trees as well. Ooh. But I don't know, like, are other trees producing the same liquid? Only for maple, I guess. But maybe, like, for pines, if they. <laughs> It's frozen, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever tried maple syrup? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's good. Okay. We have Oh, it's like a snow. <laughs> like icy sap. <laughs> of sugar for people living here many years ago because sugar cane doesn't grow here and it's very expensive to bring it from other countries or the other parts of this country but this you can make here you can make in your yard so it was an important source okay. Shandong. Shandong. Is that for the, for the Sanyan. Uh, oh. That's the little bottle. Oh, oh. oh. That's the color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I want to know, the one that I buy in the ad can is like different color. Yeah, but I think it's different color. And then it, it's, it's heat. <laughs> that is hot. <laughs> you just warm up your hands. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> So the this syrup is, the filter. is filtered and goes into those pots, um, and um, once it's all filtered, which takes a long time actually, it's a very slow process because it takes, the filtering is a very fine filter, so it takes a long time for the syrup to go through. And then um, we have to heat it, reheat it to put it in cans. We put it in, in jars, we can it in jars. Um, and then it's syrup, then it's ready. Anybody have any questions? For how long you boil, boil that? Um, it depends on how much sap we have. Rob is thinking that it's going to take about six hours to boil the sap we have on hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we can, I think we can boil off about 10 gallons of liquid in an hour, uh, 10 gallons of water, so it's quite a bit. This is all very sticky. Yeah, go ahead, you can ask me. <laughs> yes. Um, that's an interesting question. Like, you know, the, the thing is, the sap isn't just water. It's got sugar in it. And as you boil it down, the the color of the the maple sugar starts to get me more and more significant. It starts to um, uh, make be more visible because there's more sugar than there was before, less water. So that that's what changes. it doesn't like burn or anything like that, mm. unless you. <laughs> Make a mistake. <laughs> and then that happens. Sometimes one of the one of the um, 
recurring problems is that the sap, when it reaches the point of being syrup, when it gets close, it can boil over very quickly. Um, and I was tending this to, to filter mm -hmm. earlier, and I went outside and abandoned my post, and it boiled over. So we have a mess here that we will have to clean up. Yes. Um, so if you boil like. Uh